top of the morning, family. Top of the morning, man. Um, man, another blessed day, man. Like I say, everybody that been following my journey, man. I started from, you know, five hundred dollars here, you know, maybe two hundred dollars there, and just built it up, man. Built my portfolio up. Today, man, I hit that fifty k, man. Fifty bands, man. So it's a blessing, man. Um, I had a lot of y'all hit me up on how I buy options, you know. Um, and it's just my personal, you know, what I do. No financial advisor, so this is not financial advice. I'm just showing you guys what I do. So, anyways, look, step by step, we get to the option calls. I think it's going up. I like to kind of look at the calls and see what the dates and what the strike prices are. So, um, if I can, preferably, I like to get something that's a little out. I always look for something like a month out. That's just me, because personally, I've I've lost when I got stuff that expires that week. You know, some crazy drastic happens in the market. <clears throat> Next thing you know, price tanks on something stupid, and now you're out of money. You know, your contract expires out of money. So um, always keep that in mind. I like to look for something, like I say, that's, that's possibly a month out. So, um, and if you look, if you look as I go through these, there's not, a lot of times, there's not much difference in price from something that, say, uh, a March call. Um, to something that's maybe in April. Uh, I even have what they call leaps, which are um, basically call options that are like a year out. So it gives the stock, if I believe the stock has potential for growth, it's going to give me the opportunity to let that sit and mature. So you can see I even have some um, Nokia call options that expire in 2022. So either way, man, pick... Uh, a strike price that you feel is um, something that you know is, is looking good, and then go ahead and, and make that. And again, what it, what a call option is to remember, you're buying the opportunity to buy a hundred shares of that stock at that price, right? So, if and then if you look, you'll see the break even. Say this contract cost me fifty one cents. It's going to cost a hundred dollars per share, four hundred dollars. Plus the fifty-one dollars for the contract. That's my my um, break-even price. Anything over that is good money. Anyways, man, y'all stay blessed.